Hey there, are you an artist who's found yourself chasing after the light instead of catching it when you're painting outside? Working from life can be a real big challenge for a lot of folks. Just this past week, I hosted a workshop down on Edisto Island where we spent the whole week catching the light rather than chasing it. So what do I mean by those two things and how are they different? They're actually a world apart. So if you're chasing the light, it means that you're painting from life and you're going without a roadmap. You're always trying to adjust the color and adjust the values as you paint. And because the light keeps changing when you're outside, the values keep changing on your painting so that you never actually catch up with what you're seeing. That's incredibly frustrating. But that's not the best way to work. So what's much more efficient, what works so much better, is to catch the light instead of chasing it. And by that I mean figuring out what those value patterns are that you see in the landscape or in the still life or the figure that you're working on from life before you get started with the painting. Because if you capture that value roadmap before you get started and do it really quickly, you're gonna be golden. You've already caught the light. And from then on, the values might change, but you have a roadmap to follow. The colors will stay the same, but the value patterns will shift. So you wanna capture that value pattern right at the very beginning, don't wait. Then mix your colors and dive into painting. So that's what I mean by the difference between catching the light and chasing the light. One is filled with empowerment, with a feeling like you know where you're going with the painting, and the other is totally filled with frustration. Ultimately, if you spend enough time with your subject, especially if you're painting from life with a subject that you're really familiar with, a landscape that you're in lots of times, then you're going to have observed the value patterns and the light and the color over time enough to be able to go beyond even catching the light. And when you're at that phase of developing working from life, I call that painting towards the light. So if you know what the light is going to look like in an hour, in an hour and a half, you can note down the value patterns you see right now and you can paint towards what you know they're going to be in an hour and a half or two hours. That is the ultimate in control when you're painting from life. So how do you make painting from life a little bit easier? How do you catch the light? Focus on those value patterns. Hope that's been helpful and look forward to talking with y'all again soon. Let me see if we've got anybody with a question on here. Hey Barbie, it's good to see you and Kristen and Linda George and Don Dukes and Nicole and Roslyn. Hey Roslyn and Leslie. It's good to see all of y'all. So dive in and let me know if you have any questions. Post them in the comments below and I'm going to look back through in a little while to see where your thinking goes.